ways of losing yourself. Their ways of losing yourself. There has been too much of a confusion between the drug problem and drug trafficking and crime. But the vast majority of people who use drugs are not criminals. If we really care about our children, we're going to look at the facts and see that, that we need to control and regulate substances are dangerous. Not because drugs are good, but because prohibition is worse. Now the UN is more and more emphasizing the flexibility of the conventions, that the system is very much flexible. We can argue for the issue like the criminalization of drugs, the use of drugs in the safe drug consumption rooms, and the international bodies now confirm that. Countries that embrace legal regulation find themselves in breach of international law because of three UN treaties. Fortunately, there is a way for two or more countries to agree to modify a specific treaty between themselves alone. A procedure called interse modification. Let's say Uruguay, the Netherlands and Canada come together to initiate an interse modification agreement to deal with issues such as how international trade in cannabis should be conducted, education and public health policies, and many more. These three countries would basically create a mini-treaty of their own, while at the same time respecting the rights and obligations of all state parties that do adhere to the UN Drug Control Conventions. If other countries wish to legally regulate cannabis after this mini-treaty is agreed upon, they are free to join the group and enjoy the benefits accordingly. Separate countries start making agreements. We just learned about this in the last year or two. It's a legal instrument for countries to create a subcontract under the treaty. It may happen that that's the route that we have to take here. Nation by nation, we legalize it. And then that's going to make the UN move. That's one possibility that the treaty will just become irrelevant, that we'll go around it, that we'll create this uh, different patchwork quilt of a world of, of law. And that's already happening. We're seeing containers full of product move across the Atlantic into Europe from North America and ultimately from South America. We're seeing the same type of material move from Israel into Asia and from South America into Asia. So this is a global cannabis economy. Make no mistake about that. And it's happening right now. Your source of Cannabis News. Cannabis News Network.